Hey guys, I'm here with uh, our patient Axis. We're gonna call him Axis because he's a deer hunter and he's going uh, hunting this weekend. He's gonna shoot at some Axis deer, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna treat. You have some warts on your fingers here. We're gonna treat. Uh, we've already used the pedophilin. We already tried the uh, the gel. Did you get the gel or was it the solution? The solution. The solution, and you used it for the three cycles. Um, you know, three days on, four days off, not three cycles, but weekly cycles, right? Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, did that several times and just no success, huh? Ooh, correct. All right, you know what I want to go on a try? We have this new macro lens. I want to get a close-up on these for everybody, so I'm going to stop for a second and put on the other lens. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's fairly disgusting looking. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it Let's on try another one, the big yeah. one there, yeah. Ooh, that is awful looking. That's what a wart looks up nice and up close. All right, we'll take this off. I thought that'd be fun to look at. Lens. Ready? Okay. Oh, you want to use the uh, tripod? No. Okay, go. You go. Turn me on. You on. We're not going to use the tripod because this is a pretty quick procedure. This is, again, this is Axis, and he's got some common warts here. We did a little close up on these, so we're going to freeze them. And, uh, well, are you ready? I guess. All right. <laughs> Don't crack. And I told you don't cry. Don't cry. He's not crying. He's not crying. He's uh he didn't watch any of the football games this weekend. Gonzo, did you watch any games? No. No. I want to go eat at Fatty's. What else you got? You got another and... one? All right. So to answer your question, you just asked a question um, before we were uh, filming. You know what what happens with these? These will get angry and red, and they'll they'll swell a little bit, and then they'll sort of dry up, and they should peel off. Now here's the problem with uh, with these warts. Are you ready for another treatment? Yep. Sometimes, sometimes these dudes are a lot deeper than you think they are. Okay. Which may be why I know that stung, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it almost kicked me. The uh, it is probably the reason why these did not the just uh, they didn't just go away with the pedophilin treatment, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, which is an antiviral therapy. Now, typically speaking, the reason why some people get warts and some people don't, and we're all susceptible to getting these when we're young, but at, for most of us, at some point, uh, our immune system turns on and it just eliminates these. Okay, the body right. the body is not recognizing these warts as being foreign tissue because they're not completely foreign right they're just changed by the virus so your body's immune system hasn't caught on that hey we don't want these things and we have dr gonzo today all the charge thousand an hour that's fine you can just uh, <laughs> send the bill all right dr so gonzo is going to try to take some stitches what happened to his out. fingers yeah, what did you have to tell us the story well, putting, your, putting your hand in other people's business weren't you I smashed them you smashed them how'd you do that a couple pieces of metal Oh. Well, you're doing something that your wife told you not to do, and you still did it anyways. Probably. Look at that, little Gonzo. I she thought she was a whole lot of stuff to do anything. Not to do it, and he did it. <laughs> well, you showing sure him? What? Uh, no, no. What do you mean? What's this how men are right. thing? What's going hey. on back there? Don't be man bashing in here. No. Hey, you don't. Uh, That's dangerous. Doing something all the time. Look at her take those stitches out. Let me take those off for right now. Hey, doing the camera can be fun too. It is fun. Hey, we might run out of film. <laughs> well, we have run out of memory before. That we have. It's not fun. Alrighty. Don't you flick look, me you off either. Look on the camera and see what. See what happens. See what's happening there. Yeah. So you were uh, we're doing some metal work, huh? Well, those on mugs. Oh, we're throwing out the back oh. of the pickup truck. Mm -hmm. And it slipped down. It was metal in the back of the pickup truck. Yeah. And it smashed it together. And what a smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. What's, but what was, you know, everybody screws up now and then. Well, I've heard, <laughs> that. I've heard that. So, what was the metal for? It's a dolly. Yeah, a dolly. That's what it was. It was it a steel dolly? Yeah. Okay. Well, how old a fella are you, Mr. Snoopy? He's 15. <laughs> you can't ask for that. Nobody's age. That's. I can too. Well, you can, I'm but the you. Nurse. Sh 
So since I'm the nurse on this job, I can ask age and demographic. <laughs> okay. Have a little trouble getting that finger. Get him to bend it for you. There. Yeah. Come on. Go. What are you? I can't see a thing. There it is. Can I get the last two on this one? She's doing pretty good for a visually impaired person who's not wearing her glasses. Isn't I know. She? I forgot yeah. my glasses and my contacts. Yeah. Good thing she's far sighted. Mm -hmm. Or is it near sighted? Which one are you? I'm nearsighted. Right. Look at that. Okay. That's pretty That's well cool. healed right there. One we'll finger down. A, one finger down, one to go. I think what we'll do is we'll just put a bandage on that when he's when you're done. That looks like it's healed real well. Looks like you had a good doctor and this has yeah. healed very well. Okay, let's yeah, get the yeah, next one. It was, uh, it was fun. It was, was fun. He? Very calm. Yeah, there's cool. stitches under those stitches down inside. Too. He had some deep well, stitches. Well, then that one there, there's some, there's some deep I ones. think those are going to mm -hmm. fall on their own, though. Yeah, you said those would, those would absorb right, them. Right, right. They just melt sometimes, usually. Gonzo, what are you doing this weekend? Celebrating Mr. Gonzo's achievement. That's right, he graduated. What, what, you don't like me being close or something? No, like that not. breath? What's the deal? Ooh. I was trying to move my hand. This one opened up the, the wound. That's okay, take it out, we'll dress it up. Okay. When you, that particular wound is right across the crease of the, the, the finger joint there, so that's mm -hmm. something that can happen, but underlying it's okay. And we'll put a bandage on there, you'll do just fine with that. Yeah, it's only been six days. Ooh, I got two in one. You did good. Yeah. Did you put any neosporin or any ointments on that? Triple antibody, three yeah. times a day. Three times a day. Washed with antibacterial. Yeah. That could be part of the reason why this one didn't heal very well. Why? Well, sometimes when you put ointment on it like that, it works its way down into the wound and it prevents healing. Oh. But we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to steri strip this one for you. This one, you're healed. We're going to do dressings on it. It's okay. This one, we need a steri strip. That yeah, one. see, this one here did not heal very well. So we're going to go ahead and use a little tincture of benzoin. This is, uh, this is the sticky stuff. What is it? What is that do? It's sticky. It's going to make your fingers sticky. So these little strips here will hold on better. It's got kind of an unusual odor. I got some stuff I want to glue at the house. Does that work? You want to use some duct tape or something instead? I was going to do that on these, but she made me go to the doctor. Well, that's the way women are. They're going to make you get the kind of help you ought to get because they love you. Yeah. And they know how hard-headed and stupid men can be. Yeah, but I had other, I had other, <laughs> things, I had other I like things I needed to do. Well, you're still going to be able to do some of those things. Don't, don't move. Don't move. Please. There you go. So what were you saying earlier? My nurse should have went and got these, right? Yeah. Well, he just wanted to your nurse holes. didn't know where they were. And I don't think your <laughs> expertise is in uh, This would have been fun to do. I've never done these. Well, we'll have to teach you how to do them. Yes, you It looks like pretty simple. It does look pretty simple, by the way. That's only good. <laughs> if, you, if you could turn your hand back over, I'd get this last one on for you. <laughs> Don't jab me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to jab you. Don't worry. There you go. It's nice. Now, we're going to put a little dressing over this, and I want you just to leave it alone for a few days. These strips themselves, ladies, you do not have to remove. These will fall off on their own, okay? No more antibiotic ointments. No more in dry. Just clean and dry is all I'm asking. And, and, and you know what? Uh, if you want to take the dressing off while you take a shower or something, that's fine. Just don't scrub on the hand or anything yeah. like that, okay? Yeah. All right. You did great, man. Thanks for letting us video. Okay, You're a pal, good. Snoopy. Yeah. The other All right. One's closed up good enough. The other one's fine. We can just put a bandage over it. This that one just the needed. One that was so deep. Yeah. Um, this one was probably tender, and he, you probably weren't as aggressive with it. It was uh, a little tender, though. Yeah. Okay. So we're back with Brutus, right? <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling, Brutus? It's very painful, but I feel better. Yeah. Are you able to move your index finger at all? Uh, I don't want, even want to try yeah, a see, little. We've got some drainage coming out there. That's some pus. And uh, so that's a sign that uh, we may be, you know, increased risk for an abscess now. And you're taking your antibiotics, you said. Absolutely. And how's your pain? Um, on average, about a 
five out of ten. It's it's quite right yes. at the spot, very painful. And you tried the tramadol, and that didn't help that much, did it? It helped, but made me very sick. Oh, but it made you sick. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, made okay. me very, very sick. All right, so we're still going to be real aggressive with this. This is just a little follow-up pick. This just shows everybody how dangerous a cat bite can be, because we're still not out of the woods on this. Yep. All right. So you have uh, you have an appointment with infectious disease coming up, right? Yep. Okay. So we're going to keep that, and we're going to need to do X-ray soon and check for osteomyelitis. And there's still the concern now for a uh, septic joint. And we didn't mention that in the last video. So we're going to be on antibiotics for a while longer and continue to follow up closely with this. Thanks for letting us uh, do a follow up. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. We're going again, folks. We're back here with Brutus. And you can't see her face, but I'm going to tell you right now, she's got a big smile. Things are doing better, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Now, wiggle your, wiggle your index finger. Getting a little better there, too. Mm -hmm. Now, I notice you still have a little redness in that area there, but it's, it's really significantly better. Can you feel the tip of your finger okay? Yes. The sensation seems normal? Yes, it is a little numb in throughout the joint. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a numb finger? No, definitely okay. not. Good. Has it, has it been draining anymore? Not so much. Not for a couple of days now. I think you're really responding well to that uh, augmentin. Good. Well, we wanted to get a follow-up. I think you're doing so well. This will probably be our last follow-up. Everybody's kind of been wanting to know how Brutus did and how things are. So I think we'll wrap this up now unless we have, you know, you know, something changed, but I doubt that'll happen. I think you're doing great. Just finish up those antibiotics. How about pain? Are you having a lot of pain still? It's or? so much better. It's a yeah. lot better. It's significantly better. Yeah, it's almost a one, maybe. It's, it's really not even pain. It's just a tingling sensation. Yeah. How many days out are we now? Um, uh, Seven, I believe. It's no, a little no, over. Excuse Is it two me. weeks? No, no, we're 10 days now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I thought it was Friday. Right. right. Yeah. Yes, last Friday. Okay, so 10 days out from a cat bite that got down, I think it probably, you know, got deep around a tendon there. Mm -hmm. So I think you're healing up just fine. So um, good work. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Get well. Bye. Hey, folks. Are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stock up on Meta 7. Meta 7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps, quote, make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system, end quote. If you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta 7 today. There are Amazon links in the description below. Order today with Amazon Prime. Hi, my name's Liam, and I just want to do a review for uh, Coco Skin Plus. I've been on it for about two and a half months now. Um, I do recommend it. It has given me, I don't know if you want to zoom in, my nails have definitely gotten stronger, um, and my hair. I did bleach my hair. Uh, last year um, don't ever bleach your hair it will kill your hair and finally my hair is actually looking normal thanks to this actually and um, it's a 90 day supply uh, it took about I wasn't seeing anything really until a month a month and a half in to really notice uh, changes but it's been doing great I love it